Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today I'm going to show you how to add custom CSS to your WordPress site. Now, I'm going to go over three different methods to do this. We're going to start with a beginner method, and then later in the video, we'll have a more advanced method. Now, let's just hop right in. Now, you can see here we're on our example site, and the first thing I want to note is we're already logged into our WordPress dashboard, and you can see we have a customize option up here. So let's click that. That's the best way to add custom CSS to your WordPress site. So you can see here we're using the Astra theme. Now, if you're changing something simple in your theme, many themes have options for that. For example, in Astra, they have options for typography. So if you're trying to change something simple, definitely look through the theme options first. Now, obviously you're here to add custom CSS. So let's first go into the easiest way to add custom CSS, and that's using the additional CSS option. Now, WordPress adds this to all sites, so you should see this in your customize panel. So we'll click it. And you can see here, we can add any custom CSS we want. So let's just go in and change our header navigation. So we're gonna right click, do inspect element. This will let us get our class here. So you can see uh, that this theme is using this class to modify the styles of the menu. I just copied that and then we'll hit exit. And then I can paste it over here. And then we can add our custom CSS styles here. So let's make the letter spacing a little bit more. And you can see now we have really large letter spacing and we can even change the font size. Now this is by far one of the easiest ways to add CSS to your site, especially since you can see the changes that you're doing while you're editing the site. Uh, so you can see here, once you're done, you can just hit publish and then our custom CSS will be on the front page. And you can see we now have our tiny navigation up here. And adding custom CSS is that simple. Now we're going to go into a second method. This is useful if you do not see the additional CSS option in your customize menu. So let's go to our dashboard. We're going to go to plugins and we're going to add a plugin called simple custom CSS. And you can see it's this one here with 300,000 active installs. So let's install it and we'll activate it. Now, much like using the additional CSS option in the customize menu, this actually adds a new option to your appearance. And you can see we now have an option called custom CSS. And here we can add any custom CSS you want. This is definitely useful if for some reason you don't have the additional CSS option in the customize panel. Now let's go into the more advanced option and that's building a child theme and then modifying a style sheet yourself. So you can see here we're using the WP Astra theme. And so we actually need a child theme to modify the style sheet. So let's Google real quick. Uh, we'll Google Astra child theme. And you can see here, uh, Astra has a child theme generator. Now, most themes you look up will probably have a child theme already made for you, but there are plugins that you can use to generate a child theme. Uh, most likely though, you'll be able to find one by looking it up. So we're just gonna generate a child theme here. We'll, we won't give it a name or anything. Now let's go back to our site and we're gonna add a new theme. And we're going to upload our new theme that we just downloaded. And we'll activate it. Now let's go back to our front end. And you can see now we have our site back to how it was previously. I should note that the custom CSS we added earlier is now gone because when you change a theme, WordPress automatically changes that option. So if you do have custom CSS you want to bring over to a child theme, make sure to copy and paste that from the additional CSS options in the customize panel. So if we go back to our back end and go to appearance, we can see now we have the Astra child theme. So now we're gonna log into our FTP and this is gonna involve knowing your FTP information. If you do not know your FTP login, you can ask your web host for this information. We already have the information, so we're gonna log in using a client called Cyberduck. There's plenty of free FTP clients out there for Windows and Mac. You can see we're already logged into our server here. So let's go into WP content, themes, and you can see we have an Astra child theme. Now child themes are a way to make modifications to a larger theme like we're doing with Astra. Uh, so your child theme will probably look really similar. It'll be a functions file and a style sheet and maybe a screenshot. Now obviously we just wanna edit the style.css file though. So Cyberduck actually lets you edit things by just right clicking them and we'll do edit with and we'll choose our favorite text editor here, Adam. And you can see here in the comments, this is the uh, standard stuff about your child theme. Uh, we can actually rename it if we want. And this will show up in the WordPress dashboard. Same with all these other attributes here. But what we want to do is add custom CSS. So let's just make the font size super large so I can show you how it's working. And then we'll save. And Cyberduck will automatically re-upload the file back to the server. So we already have updated the file. So let's go back to our website here and let me refresh. And you can see now it says Astra Smart WP Tutorial. Now let's go to the homepage. So now you can see our font is all jumbled now because I made such a giant font size for the body text. But 
but that is how you add custom CSS to your site. Now there's plenty of free ways to learn CSS online, including on YouTube. CSS can be extremely powerful in changing visual components of your website. You can even add animations using CSS. It's extremely powerful and definitely worth learning. I hope this video is helpful. Remember to check out smartwp.com for more WordPress tips and tutorials. And thanks again for watching. See ya.